Hey guys, what's going on? So today we are giving Pearl her first bath. This is not her first bath ever in her life. She's taken some baths kind of on her own in the water in her cage and when she's been out with Pillow. Um, but this is the first time that we're ever intentionally bringing her aside. We've brought her into the kitchen and we've totally cleaned out the kitchen sink and we're going to run some water from the faucet and see how she takes to it. See if she wants to take a bath in the sink. Does that sound fun? Yeah, she's totally excited for it. She's, she's thrilled. Like I said, we cleaned out the sink and if you're going to bathe your bird in the sink, make sure any chemicals that you use to clean the sink are thoroughly washed away. If you need to do a thorough scrub of the sink, make sure you do a really, really thorough rinse and make sure all those chemicals are gone before you put your bird down in the sink. We have a couple of Pearl's little toys here that we're going to put in. We thought putting some of this stuff in would immediately make her realize that this is a safe place to be and hopefully she won't be too afraid about going in. Also, it's important to remember that your water is in nice even room temperature, not too hot, not too cold, because obviously you want your bird to be comfortable while they bathe. Okay, we've got your toys. You put the toys in there. What do you think? Does it <laughs> Step up. There we go. Sorry, Bob. I like scratch her face. Sorry, good thing we got her nails clipped, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so she's obviously a little bit timid right now. We're just going to give this a few minutes, just keep her around the water and just let her get accustomed to it. And hopefully she'll go in. Get as flat as you can. Okay, there we go. Let's see. She's curious. Step up. Okay, so it's been a couple days since Pearl's first foray into the kitchen sink. Um, we've actually taken her over there a couple more times just to get her more used to it. I think being there for the very first time and having the cameras and everything, she was a little weirded out, although she did get in the water. Um, yes. Hi. So, oh. So anyway, we're going to try again. And one other thing, in the time since, she has begun molting. She's very scruffy looking right now. She's got a lot of pin feathers, especially on her, her head and her neck. And you notice when I kiss her, her little pin feathers poke me in the mouth. Your little pokey feathers, they're so pokey. They're so pokey. They're so scruffy. Want to go out and try going in the sink again, Scruffy? All right, so we are trying again with the dishes. We have a couple of dishes in the sink that I'm going to wash and not with soap or anything, just with water and make it seem like I'm kind of going about my daily business and see if she takes any interest in what I'm doing. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, look at you! Oh, you. So it's important to always give your bird an escape route rather than just dumping them in the sink and pulling your arm away and expecting them to stay there. It's better if you always Keep your arm, keep your hand down there so that if they feel at all uncomfortable, they have an easy out. And that can make them a little more willing to explore knowing that they're not gonna be stuck or trapped or anything like that. And the other important thing is don't force the bird into the water because again, it's a new situation for them. They could be very scared. Um, just expose them to the water, let them be around it and 
hopefully over not too long a period of time, they will become interested enough to want to explore it on their own. We're having some success with Pearl right now. She hasn't taken a full bath yet, but she is taking a shower and getting a lot to drink. So we're definitely moving in the right direction here. not her back or her wings. So it looks like we may not get the full body, head to toe, splashing every which way like a bird in a bird bath kind of bath, but we've definitely made a lot of progress with her just getting used to the water and getting her, her head in and getting her wings in and, and all of that. And she really seems to enjoy it. So hopefully this is something we can do repeatedly. And in the future, maybe we'll have videos where she's splashing up the entire kitchen. So I'm going to get Pillow out now, just for fun, just to see if he wants to come take a bath too. Hi Chiparoo, you want to come join join us? Come on. Come on. Oh goodness, look at you. Look at you, you're such a disaster. You're such a disaster. <laughs> Look at you! Come here, Pillow! Oh, hi! Hi, um, I don't know what I'm shooting right now, but hi, Pillows, come to join us. Oh! Oh, there's a bath going. There's a bath. Oh, wet. <laughs> I was like, I'm clean. You clean? I'm clean. Are you clean? Are you clean? Are you clean? Are you clean? I'm clean. I'm clean. Are you clean? Are you clean? Are you clean? <laughs> so clearly Pillow has no problem taking a bath and it looked like Pearl was watching him. And so hopefully next time maybe they'll be splashing around together. That might be kind of fun and very wet and we'll have a lot of cleaning up to do so that's it thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and we will see you next time what are you trying to do oh, I'm oh. Trying to dry. she's trying to get dry oh no she's never really had to get fully dry before she's oh all goodness she's all wet you're all wet look at you scruffy oh my goodness you look like a ragamuffin